Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, as, as an IT manager, um, I, I, I do get a lot of computer questions every day. Um, and, and one that I heard a lot today was, Chris, you know, what do we need to know about the coronavirus? How is it going to affect my computer? Uh, warning signs, symptoms, prevention, what, what to do if you, if you catch it. Um, that, that kind of stuff. And I, I, again, since most people at home are using laptops, uh, you know, that, that's what we're going to cover in this video. And don't you worry, you know, this virus might be spreading, but if you follow these simple tips that I'm going to give you based on an interview with a real coronavirus patient. Really, you, you just can't go wrong. Um, you know, they're, they're very easy steps. Any laptop user of any skill level technical ability can do this. Hey, Taylor. Hey. Um, I'm making a, a YouTube video about how to uh, protect your laptop against the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. and, and I really uh, wanted to get some tips from somebody who's had the coronavirus. So, you know, what do you think you could have done to prevent yourself from getting the virus? Well, I don't know if it was the coronavirus, but I think that maybe I should have stayed inside a little bit more and not interact with people. And, and what do you think was the worst part of having the virus? Coughing my lungs out nonstop. Okay. And uh, who did you get the virus from? I got the virus from someone at a bar, most likely. Well, hey guys, uh, you know, as, as you saw from the, the interview with the uh, coronavirus patient, number one being, uh, how did you contact it? Um, and, and, and Taylor was right. Um, you know, laptops get infected with viruses through touch. I've got two laptops here, um, which, which is starting to become normal. Uh, a lot of my friends, they've got uh, a laptop at work, they've got a laptop at home, they travel back and forth with them. So I'm, I'm going to show you how to protect more than one laptop from the coronavirus. Get some, get some kitchen grade shellad cling wrap. Now, you, you notice I didn't say great value. There's a difference. Uh, these, these laptops are not cheap. Uh, so this is not where you want to save a dollar, two dollars by going great value. Uh, you you want to go with the Glad. And, and this is really, really, really simple. Um, basically, you just kind of pull it out. And you don't even need the stupid box thing. I, I, I find that you're going to use the whole thing anyways, so it, it's usually best to just, you know, kind of get that out of the way. Uh, another important tip, don't just go in one direction. Uh, you know, viruses are tricky. They, they, can, they can get in uh, from a lot of different angles. So after you've done, you know, a horizontal wrap job, Go ahead and do a vertical one as well. So, and, and, and like I said, you didn't need the, uh, the box thingy. Uh, it's got like a cutter on it, but you just rip and tear. It's, it, it, it's that simple. Now that is a pretty secure laptop. Um, and and I'm, I'm gonna show you the, the advanced technique for this one. You know, th this is really my expensive laptop. That, that one's kind of throwaway. This one, what you want to do is actually open it up. And it really doesn't matter if it's on, off, whatever. You, you don't have to open it up and apply the uh, saran wrap if you're willing to use latex gloves. Exterior protection. This laptop's going to get the same thing, but we're also going to put the added layer 
And and really don't don't worry too much about the, the hinge area for the, the screen. Um, th this is not about preventing the virus from coming through the hinges. This is more contact from the human body to the keys on the keyboard. All right, much better. Dual layer protection. Both laptops covered. Maybe five bucks in saran wrap. I, I really don't know. Um, we we had it laying around. I, I didn't make a special trip to the store to, to get it, so I don't know how much it costs. You know, most experts would probably stop there with uh, the whole touch aspect of, of how the, the virus is spread. But, you know, not me. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go that extra mile for ya. Um, and plus, I've, I've, I've had these sitting around for, for quite some time. You've probably seen them in some other videos. So, so basically, you wanna build a wall with the bricks. One of, one of the things you wanna keep track of here is how many bricks you use and how long it takes you. Um, Cause you're not paying for this. Uh, we're building this to, to China. China's building the wall. So you, you want good records um, so that you don't get audited when you uh, put this on your um, your tax form. Because um, basically, you know, we do have to, to front the, uh, the, the cost of it. But they're going to pay for it eventually, and Trump will figure out the rest at some point. Oh, don't worry if you don't have all the uh, exact same bricks. I'm missing one brick. So I'm just going to go ahead and use two smaller bricks to make up glue. There we go. There's my wall to protect my laptops from the coronavirus. And you, you want to plan accordingly. Um, you know, I've got two different size laptops. And I built my wall in such a way that I can hide both of them behind it, no problem. So if you have a small table and a big laptop, um, you might want to start by building your wall on the floor and then coming up uh, instead of directly on top of the table like I did. So the, uh, the second part of this, what the worst part was, and she said, it was the cough. So obviously saran wrap didn't work. The wall didn't stop it. You've got the virus. All right. You know, this day and age, you, you don't have to deal with things like a, uh, a coughing laptop, making a bunch of noise, disrupting you during meetings. You know, you're sneaking onto Facebook at night while your um, old family is asleep. You don't want them to know. You don't need that thing coughing on you. So th this is what you do. Um, you wanna go ahead and lock yourself in, rearrange. And, and really, I, ideally, you know, eradication is, is the best way to relieve the, the symptoms, but Sometimes you just got to fake it to make it. So, there we go. You're going to want to open up the uh, start menu. You're going to type in control. Um, it's going to have a control panel here. Just go ahead and hit open on that. Um, the third category down, hardware and sound. Um, go ahead and click on that. And uh, again, ironically, third category down. Uh, we start with devices and printer, autoplay, and sound. So we're, we're, we're dealing with sound since this is a cough. So you wanna go to adjust volume. And um, th this, this virus is actually pretty tricky. Um, you know, when you're dealing with other viruses, uh, you can usually spot them in here in the volume mixer. Um, you see they've got device and applications. Um, 
and, and, and basically most other viruses will show up under the applications. So you can mute just the virus to alleviate the coughing syndrome. Um, however, th this virus is pretty advanced. So and instead of going under applications, we're gonna have to go under speakers for the device. Uh, and if you notice, there's a, a slider bar here. So, you know, if, if it's not that bad of a, of a cough and you know, you, you still want to try and get away with some YouTube music or whatever, um, you know, go ahead and send it at 50%. But um, all the cases I've seen of this, it, it's been pretty bad. So you're just going to want to come all the way down here uh, to the icon of the speaker underneath the slider bar and just click on that. And it'll, it'll go ahead and put a, a red little circle with a line through it. And, and that means, um, you know, Windows is gonna actively be suppressing the, the virus cough. That simple. So we've covered, uh, you know, how you get the virus contact, um, how, to, how to deal with the worst symptoms of it, which was the, the cough. Um, and, and, and the last part of this is, you know, how do you get it in the first place? Yeah, you got it by contact, but what are you gonna do, not contact anything? That's not a real good plan. Luckily, we have somebody that's been through this and they have identified that the place you're most likely to get this from is a bar. Um, you know, not the first time the bar has been a problem for people. Um, but again, you know, I've got your back. How to prevent your laptop from contracting a virus at the bar. Laptop, me as a responsible person going to the bar. And this, this is a principle that has worked many a time before because there are lots of viruses that have been traced back to the bar. Now, as a responsible laptop user, what you want to do is as you're entering the bar, hand off the laptop to somebody who is not going to be drinking in the bar. <laughs> now, I'm, I know what you're thinking. Chris, I'm only gonna have one or two. It doesn't matter. However much you drink at the bar, your laptop can still get infected. So, find a responsible party, give them the laptop. If this sounds familiar, it's because, you know, other people have used the same principle. Um, a lot of people get into trouble at the bar with vehicles. Same principle. Going into the bar, you hand them off. And don't go into an area where you know the virus is at with the laptop. You know, there are actually services out there that you can call ahead of time and be like, hey, I'm planning on going into this area. Hold my laptop. They will come and hold it. So, no excuse. Protect the laptop. Thanks, Kendra. Christopher, I'm totally going to subscribe to your YouTube channel. So please keep it up and you'll be the next Jake Paul.